It's a Wednesday, March 21st, and this is CT Pulse on the HAN Network. I'm Kate Chaplinski, and we're doing something a little different today. If you haven't eaten lunch yet, you're probably going to get very hungry. We're talking Connecticut's restaurant scene with someone who is thankfully always Instagramming his meals. Mike Maylock of at HeyBigMike.com is joining us. Mike, happy to have you on. Thanks, appreciate it. Now, Mike, you just kind of launched this website, but this is something you've been doing on Instagram for a while. So tell us how you got started. Yeah, so I mean, I my background's really in social media and PR. Um, definitely have like a lot of roots in photography and journalism as well. Um, I started off kind of writing for uh, AOL, launch, helped them launch like their patch website when they first got started. And um, and now I and now I do uh, social media for Love Sack. This, Shout is, out a, right this there. is a little bit of a plug here. Uh, okay. We're kind of the hottest, you know, up and coming furniture brand. So check us out. But I mean, I've always really liked um, food. I love food, you know, like a lot of people do. And I like going out to places and hanging out with my friends and trying new restaurants. And then I'm also, you know, kind of a um, DSLR and and. Uh, Instagram photographer, right? So um, I, I, I think I started doing it like right around the same time when um, food blogging was kind of getting hot in the past mm-hmm. couple years and people had this new outlet on Instagram and Snapchat and here and there to kind of share their share their stuff. Um, you know, I've never really like claimed to be like this food connoisseur. I can't tell you these like distinct differences between uh, foie gras one place and the other. Um, but I just have a deep passion for food and for taking pictures and I think uh, that's probably what people kind of relate to. Now, I can say, I mean, covering local media, one of the things that people get the most excited about is new restaurants opening and new places to go eat. And is so that kind of what you were passionate about and just finding like the next spot to go to? I just love comfort foods. Yeah. And I and I, I think like there are a lot of um, kind of people that are out there, you know, trying to be something they're not. I just, I just love comfort foods. I want to find like the next best cheese fries and the next <laughs> best burger and the next best lobster roll and just like constantly kind of stay on that track. Um, and so, and I just really love taking pictures, you know, it's just really something I'm into. So, I mean, I definitely love trying new restaurants and finding out what's hot on the scene, but I just want people to see pictures and be like, I want to have that right now. Yeah. And I do have to say, you are the master of catching the melty cheese. Not always easy to Listen. do in photographs. Listen, when I take pictures of my food, they do not look exactly like Mike's pictures of his food. Uh, we are going to be going through a lot of those photos. Uh, but have you seen any big changes in Fairfield County or kind of the Connecticut food scene in general since you started? Um, yeah, I mean, I think a lot of the changes that kind of take place in um, Fairfield County or in Connecticut in general are, are really representative of what's happening more at like a macro level anyways. So, I mean, in the past couple of years, you've seen this huge push towards um, like really small shareable plates. Uh, we know them as tapas obviously have become kind of this really um, hot thing uh, in Fairfield County and, and kind of nationally. Um, you've also seen this push to, to get bigger on um, you know more farm to table foods. Mm-hmm. So as you know uh, more you know locally sourced and, and fresh foods become um, de- in demand. Um, and then you've also kind of seen a, a lot of um, ethnic um, you know, um, inclusion in a lot of the restaurants. You're starting to see this um, really big integration of Latin foods. Um, you know, there are places in Norwalk, uh, you know, I've talked to about with a lot of people like Valencia mm-hmm. and um, um, Brazitas in Stamford. These are great, you know, Latin inspired or Venezuelan restaurants. And then you have places right now in um, South Norwalk, for example, that combine all three of them. Um, El Segundo opened uh, semi recently and they have these. Um, street foods inspired from all over the world, and it's really fresh and it's really shareable. So it's a uh, it's it's a combination of kind of all three things at the same time. And so your website, your Instagram account, do you kind of see that as a way to educate people? It's just kind of giving your opinion, basically, right, and letting people know what you think of it. Because I've seen some. We're not going to name names. Some you're not as thrilled with that you've tried. Others you give glowing reviews. So it's kind of one guy's opinion. Yeah, it's totally, you know, it's totally editorial. Like I'm not, I'm not, you'll never see me write a scathing review. Mm -hmm. Like I've never really been to a place where I was like, this doesn't have anything redeemable. Um, But yeah, I'm totally completely honest and transparent in what I like and don't like. And um, I mean, listen, there are a lot of places in, it's a competitive scene that we're in right now. There are a lot of places in Fairfield County that are top, top notch. So um, I just, I do like to tell it how it is though, you know? And so is there anything you think that's missing from kind of the Connecticut food scene right now that you'd like to see move in? Um, 
I th- I think that the scene is 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 pretty well repped by you know in all areas and reps kind of all the different styles and and ethnicities and um and and I think people in Fairfield County are doing a great job right now. The one thing I wish I could see more of would would be like um kind of um waterfront uh mm. seafood kind of places where you can go yeah. and sit on a patio with your friends and look out over the water and eat kind of um, you know, some clams and oysters, have a beer and just hang out and kind of get that cool summer vibe. Um, I think uh, the Welk in Westport is doing a great job of that. Obviously, they have a great scene. They're right on the Saugatuck there. Um, and uh, they're doing an awesome job. But I think, you know, we have this robust, um, you know, coastline in Connecticut. And if you're only able to name a small handful of places that are doing a good job of it, it, you know, I think yeah. there's a lot of opportunity there for people to come in and, and start setting up on the water and giving people um, a good view and some good seafood and something yeah. good to uh, something good to drink. That and more burgers. Yeah. Like I can, always I, more there's burgers. a ton of good burgers in <laughs> Connecticut already, but I love cheeseburgers yeah. and uh, there's always room for more. Yeah, and I mean, looking at your Instagram, you like the the smaller chains, you know, the Shake Shacks and you know, Five Guys. Yeah. Yes, Five I, Guys. So guy. yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's that whole uh, not quite so fast food thing is uh, is really important to me. I think you have this, you know, battle of. Uh, uh, Shake Shack versus Five Guys, and then out west you have In and Out. Down south you have Whataburger, and I think there's this like huge competition between the four small, you know, relatively small chains. I'm a Shake Shack guy personally. Mm, I love Shake Shack. And I, yeah, and I think they just edge out Five Guys, so yeah. I'm a huge Shake Shack. It's guy. so funny though. You meet people that are so the opposite. Either they love Shake Shack or they don't. It's kind of funny. Listen, I've not, I, I don't see a lot. Like I haven't met a lot of people that don't yeah. like Shake Shack, but if I do, like. I don't really know what to say to him because I love Shake Shack. It's a great comfort place. Like, I could roll in there, get a good burger, and uh, I'm a huge fan. Yeah, and, you know, I got to say, as a Stratford native, I kind of love, when I was looking, Gaetano's you have in there, which is some of the best sandwiches. And I know we have a picture of one of those sandwiches, but, I mean, I love the shout-out because this is a small place. But you mentioned it's really some of the best sandwiches around. I love Gaetano's. Yeah. I, me and my buddies go there after the gym. It's a great place to kind of um, just kind of jump into. I get the uh, Kovac special, which mm-hmm. is, uh, what is it, grilled chicken, prosciutto, fresh moots, and I think it's roasted red peppers. I mean, it, that is just an incredible, um, an incredible sandwich. And they're so authentically Italian there. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm a huge fan of that place. Yeah. And I got to say, if you read Mike's uh, website, you're, you're very humorous about it all. I kind of like, especially your uh, intro about Gaetano's. I try to be. I try to be. You know, like I, 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 I try to to switch it up and try to keep it kind of fresh. And and to be honest with you, like the way I present um, food is, it's. It, I want it to be visual. Like I think there's. I think we we live in a very visual age as it is anyway. So my write ups are are really just supposed to be really short, really mm-hmm. to the point. If you go to this place, here's what you have to get look at the picture, now go try it next time you're in the area. That's it. Like, I don't want to give this this long, drawn-out, ingredient-filled, you know, memoir about my experience. I just want people to see great pictures, yeah. cheesy pictures, yeah. if you will. Yeah. Go there, try it out, and that's basically it. And we know that that's good for our attention spans because none of us have much of one anymore. Seriously. Uh, but before we take a break, let's talk towns and cities uh, that are big right now. What do you think is kind of up and coming as good, like, restaurant hubs? So, I mean, there's a couple, I think... Um, I think surprisingly, like place, some of the smaller places like New Canaan mm-hmm. has a bunch of really good restaurants. Um, um, and then some of the, some of the larger areas like, um, Fairfield has some, has some really great stuff going on. And I, I love, uh, Bodega, Malto's great. Um, but I, you know, I'm a little biased here. I live in South Norwalk and to me, Sono is kind of like the epicenter for food in, in, in Fairfield County right now. Um, I live on Washington street. We have match. Matt Storch is a is a, a food phenom in Fairfield mm-hmm. County, um, nationally acclaimed. His carpet baggers are insane. Um, he's got this great tuna dish there that I really love. And then you know, right down on right down the street, you have Washington Prime, and you can get mm. a you know this great steak. And then you, they have a really really good happy hour there. And then you have Harlan Public, and you have Barcelona and the spread. So it's like. South Norwalk is really kind of a hub for for solid restaurants right now. So I, to me, that's kind of the king of the local scene. Right, and the good train access is a plus there, of course. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> totally. <laughs> All right, well, we are going to step out for a break. When we come back, Mike's going to tell us some of his favorite local restaurants coming up right after this. 
Want a new experience in car buying? Skip Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram with one of the largest inventories of new two- and four-door Wranglers. We are Connecticut's Wrangler headquarters. Come visit our new Ram Truck Center. Browse our websites, skipchryslerjeep.com or skipdodge.net to find the new Jeep, Chrysler Dodge car, minivan, or Ram truck you've been looking for. Just two miles from both I-95 or the Merritt Parkway exit 44. Save thousands right now during the Spring Clearance Event and Ram Truck Month, now through March 31st. Get a fresh start to the new year by shaking up your meal routine. Walter Stewart's Market is your local source for a delicious selection of fresh and convenient salad shakers. Like Southwest Salad with Chicken, Cobb with Organic Chicken, Power Vegan with Fruit and Quinoa, Greek Salad with Tabbouleh, and Grilled Shrimp with Hominy. Grab one from our salad case or order from our deli today. Walter Stewart's Market, 229 Elm Street, New Canaan, or shop online at stewartsmarket.com. Well, there's still a bite out on the water. Most anglers have decided to stow the gear for the women. Just because Mother Nature isn't cooperating doesn't mean you can't see the latest models of all your favorite gear. With two convenient locations, it couldn't be easier to get your fix of summer. Boater, beach bum, fisherman, or simply love the New England coast, this is a unique place to shop. The Dock Shop, 51 Tokenique Road, Darien, 609 Riverside Avenue, Westport, or on the web, Dock Shop. UK Gourmet is the largest specialty grocer in the area featuring food from England, Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. Make your St. Patrick's Day truly authentic with a wee bit of real Irish food, proper Irish-style rashers, sausage, and soda bread right from Ireland. Put down the corned beef and grab a boiling bacon to have what they really eat in the Emerald Isle. So say hooray for UK Gourmet, 78 Stony Hill Road in Bethel, or visit ukgourmet.us. It's the InSports Athletic Functional Movement Assessment Program. A program that uses a camera, the same camera that you use with uh, an Xbox video game. What it involves is, is, uh, is three phases. One is the initial test, which will give you a very objective and, and lengthy assessment of how you are moving and where there may be imbalances. Once test gets the results from the assessment, we'll develop a customized program for the individual. The objective really to try to get as many young athletes through this program as possible. you're watching this broadcast, you're not alone. The HAN Network is available for 200,000 Connecticut cable customers on the Frontier Network. And we've also reached more than 2 million viewers on our free live streaming sports, news, and entertainment broadcasts. To reach our rapidly growing audience, contact Advertising Director Jessica Murren at 203-273-7312 or email jessica at han.network. Welcome back to CT Pulse on the HAN Network. I'm Kate Chaplinski, and I'm joined today by Mike Maylock, who's a local food blogger. We're talking about some of his favorite spots in Fairfield County. Mike, a lot of great insight. Now let's go through top five. Where are we going? Oh, my God. It's, it's really so hard. Um, there's just so much good stuff out there right now. But um, the, the one that I throw out all the time when people kind of ask this question is, uh, is Hoodoo Brown Barbecue in Ridgefield. Mm. Um, these guys put together this fantastic Tex-Mex extravaganza. Um, you know, they, it, it, it was inspired by this boys trip down to Texas and they've really done an, an amazing job of bringing Texas back to Connecticut. Um, so you can go there. Um, they have a ton of these insane smoked meats that they smoke all day. They have this poutine I th oh, think you're looking at right amazing. now that is just crazy. Um, but they've also done a, a really good job of, of, of bringing craft beer, um, really good craft beers and, and, a, and a great drink selection there as well. Um, so if you go there, get the Holy Texas Trinity. It's three or four different kinds of meat, sausage, <laughs> brisket, um, a whole bunch of good stuff. So that's one. Um, the second place I would say would be Fortina in Stanford. Um, I go there you know, quite a bit and get the tenderoni uh, pizza, which is phenomenal. These guys, in my eyes, are doing a better job than anyone else at branding themselves mm -hmm. as a kind of half party, half pizza, um, just awesomeness place, right? So they throw these awesome parties, and right now they're, they're launching this exclusive kind of culinary experience where you, you and just a small party are able to kind of try a bunch of their dishes. Oh. It's served by the chefs, I think. It's, it, it looks awesome. Dying to check that out. Uh, Fortina Pizza on Instagram, mm. they're awesome. And with so many pizza places, it's good to have a few recommendations because we know we're like, you know, a hub of good pizza around totally. here. Totally. Yeah. Totally. Um, and then uh, 
An another one would be the cottage in Westport. So this is the old La Farm. Um, there's a, a chef by the name of Brian Lewis there who's you know nationally acclaimed. Um, he does some really incredible larger entrees that I've had there. Um, and I had a dish, a duck fried rice dish that was a complete game changer, wow. absolutely phenomenal. Um, so that's another place worthy of checking out in Westport. Um, and then I think Bar Taco has to be on the list. I mean, so I think good. everybody loves Bar Taco. Um, you know, it's kind of this this sweet spot for mojitos, margaritas. They have probably one of the best guacamoles that yes, I've ever had. They do. Um, and so I spent a lot of time at the Stanford one, but mm -hmm. obviously, you know, Westport right on the water is just a fantastic summer location. And I get the ribeye tacos there, and I'm a huge fan of that place. Um, and then finally, I'm going to throw a bit of a curveball and go back to Shake Shack. I have to, you know, kind of keep it in there. Um, I, it's, it's just so easy to just bop in there, get, uh, you know, a shack burger, mm -hmm. which is really my go-to some cheese fries, a beer, and just kind of hang out. I'm just such a big fan of, yeah. you know, cheesy goodness and, and comfort food. So that's my, yeah. that's my go-to for like a, a weekday night. It was a good day when they moved into Westport. Finally, I was very excited. I was so happy. <laughs> I was so happy. Now for our sports director, Frank Rito's sake, let's talk a little bit about hot dogs. I'm a, a big hot dog person growing up around here. There's a lot of hot dog hamburger stands. Now, you do have an amazing hot dog that you tried at a place in Milford. Tell us about that one. Yeah, so that was from Mackinac, which is like this insane uh, macaroni and cheese everything place. They have <laughs> fried macaroni and cheese, macaroni and cheese, you know, um, on everything, bowls of macaroni and cheese. But they have this um, macaroni and cheese hot dog. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just a, a normal hot dog smothered in mac and cheese. And uh, I, I loved it. I'm not a huge hot dog fan. I'll be honest with you. I like the, the, most, the, the, the most hot dogs I eat is usually like at my mom's house. Like during the summer, she just cooks up hot dogs. I know Frank is a huge fan of hot dogs. And I feel like I'm kind of going to have to. Frank's. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to kind of like take his lead on <laughs> hot dogs because it's not like something I'm used to eating a lot right. of. But I mean, we do have Super Duper Weenie, obviously, a good old Great standby. Place. Great classic, place. Classic. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Um, so now, any advice for other food bloggers? Listen, a lot of people want to get into this. A lot of people love local food. What would you say to someone that kind of wants to get involved? Uh, you know, like I, like I said earlier, I'm not, I'm not classically trained. I didn't go to a culinary institute. I don't have this insane like experience in food or like I'm, I don't, I'm not a great chef. I just really love food and mm -hmm. I really love tasty food. And so when it, you know, when I, when, when Instagram kind of exploded and, and, and food blogging kind of started to take off, I never said, all right, I want to try food blogging or I want to try photography or I want to try this or try that. I just was that, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like I just started shooting, I just started shooting. And then when people said, what do you like to do fun when you're not you know, at work? I love to, I'm a food blogger, that's what I do. So it, my, my biggest, my biggest you know, um, advice to anybody that wants to try it is just do it. You know, go out there, take your, take your phone, go to a cool place, get something that you know, looks appetizing, take um, inspiration from other people who are already doing it in terms of angles and lighting. Those are your two big things in food, in t food photography, angles and lighting. If you can nail those, really all you need is an iPhone and a dream and you're like, <laughs> and you're on your way. I love it. Have you, is there anything you won't try by the way? Any kind of food? Not really. I mean, I I'm pretty much open to anything. You know, I'm, I, you know, I've had the, uh, foie gras. I've had um, beef tongue at the spread mm. is phenomenal. Wow. Um, there are probably certain things. I, there are a lot of things I'm not a fan of. Uh, razor clams are one of them because I'm used to stepping on them in the Long Island Sound. So like <laughs> so I don't want to eat them. <laughs> uh, and and I'm not a huge fan of mushrooms either right. to be honest with you. But but I'll try pretty much anything one time. Yeah. Well, so Mike, I love the website. It's at, that's A-T, heybigmike.com, and on Instagram, at heybigmike. That's right. Uh, and you travel a lot. So Mike also has a lot of great ideas uh, when he's in other cities for work or vacation of places to check out. Mike, we'd love to have you on again in the future. This was fun. I'd love it. All right. Well, thanks so much for joining us. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back with more CT Pulse after this. <laughs> At the Milford Bank, we offer an extensive selection of lending products and services to meet virtually any need. Submit your application online in our Mortgage Web Center. 
Start to finish, you can apply for a loan in as little as 10 minutes. Our knowledgeable and helpful staff are available to meet with you at your convenience. To learn more about what we can do for you, stop by one of our Milford Bank offices or visit us at milfordbank.com. The Milford Bank, always there. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. On time, done right, safe and reliable. Mr. Handyman CT. Let our satisfied customers tell it. I have called Mr. Handyman for every reason, every occasion, every broken item, every leak. They have bailed me out on many occasions, and I would recommend them to anyone. For any project, large or small. MrHandymanCT.com When it comes to considering the outside of your home, just imagine the possibilities. Whether your dream is a stunning free-form pool or a tranquil, secluded garden, the team of professionals at Stonebridge Associates will make it a reality. We offer unparalleled landscape design and construction, masonry development, pools, spas, and water features, as well as landscape and garden maintenance. No other firm can offer the same level of creativity, quality, and personal attention. Discover the possibilities at stonebridgeassociates.net or call 203-544-8376 today. Have a sports injury or slip and fall that needs immediate care? Coastal Ortho Express Urgent Care gives you direct access to an orthopedic specialist fast, without an appointment. Basketball, hockey, skiing, whatever the sports injury is, sprain or fracture, Coastal Ortho Express can help. Coastal Ortho Express Urgent Care, open Monday through Saturday, now in two locations. The iPark Building at 761 Main Avenue in Norwalk and 36 Old Kings Highway South in Darien. Or go to CoastalOrthoExpress.com, like them on Facebook. We told Dad he could have his office back if he sold 150 cars last month. Deal's a deal. Well, Dad, you did it. You get your office back. Forget it. I'm having too much fun down here. My new goal, 160 cars. <laughs> wow. Folks, if you ever wanted a great price on a new Nissan, now is the time. Right now, lease a 2017 Altima 2.5S for only $99 a month. Isn't it time you got Millerized? <laughs> I'm Frank Granito. And I'm Donald Ng for the HAN Network. Tune in to Nutmeg Sports Monday through Thursday, where we bring you all the top stories from Connecticut sports. From highlights to player interviews and expert analysis, no one gets you closer to Connecticut's games than Nutmeg Sports. Nutmeg Sports, now Monday through Thursday at 2 p.m. on the HAN Network. All right, we're moving on from food to some drawing conclusions in space. And I have to say, William Shatner is in a little bit of better shape than this cartoon version <laughs> yeah, of Yeah, actually, Doug. didn't he kind of look like my figure there in the old <laughs> 60s thing? <laughs> All right, well, Doug, let's take a look at your editorial cartoons this week. What do we have up first? Some bag -it kits might help dog owners in sidewalks. Yep, in Ridgefield, they are talking about putting those out there to pick up the poop from the dogs. Yes. And I just figured maybe they could be used for... Some kids as well. Really makes you want to have kids, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's, uh... All right, let's go to the next one. <laughs> That's um, some more science fiction. Little 8-30G uh, dash 30 G humor yeah, here. Yeah, in Easton, the, the uh, plane went through for, uh, what is it, the, um, I forget the name. Oh, of Saddle Ridge. Saddle Ridge, yes. right. And uh, it's just stressing the fact that no matter what, with 830G, you can't stop it. Right, affordable housing law there. to love it. Um, <laughs> all right, let's talk about this next one. Little Shop of Horrors. Who is this for? That's in Western Forum. The <laughs> play is opening tonight. The <laughs> high school's putting it on. Uh, a little parent that's, of Audrey there. <laughs> that's my kid playing Audrey. Oh, my gosh. And up next, tell us about this. J.C. Yeah, Penny Yeah, J.C. Penny closing its doors after, gosh, how many, what, 30-some-odd years? Long uh, time, right. So it's... A lot of jobs are being cut there. Jobs out. All right, <laughs> and up next, no no mm -hmm. schools in New Canaan have the dual fuel system often found in Vermont, Maine, and Massachusetts. We're propane. <laughs> I guess I'm just anti-pain. Yeah, that dad humor. <laughs> Little dad humor there. We always love it. And tell us about this one. Oh, that's the uh, the town bought some of the land from the Hunt Club in Darien, and people are saying, well, let's use the land for, uh, <laughs> whoops, the passive, poor horse. Uh, I know. The poor horse and that distinguished just, gentleman. I know, well, the joke the was just thinking that somebody actually still dresses like that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, Doug, as I, always, great cartoon. Okay, I just also wanted to mention a little story. I was doing a class up at Ridgefield yeah. this Saturday for fourth, fifth, and third graders about uh, drawing cartoons. And it wasn't until I got to the third grade class, you know, they were kind of shy. I was trying to draw them out said, what do you want a cartoon of? And the, half the kids wanted Trump cartoons. Really? Yeah. 
And they were like, draw me a Trump, draw me a Trump. So anyway, there was one little boy who was off by himself, never spoke up, just quietly drew. And I walked over to him, I tried to engage him, and I just said, like, do you want a drawing? And he's like, yes. I'm like, what would you like? He goes, a Trump sitting on a toilet. Oh my <laughs> gosh, wow. So well, if mouth, that doesn't go to show you the kids out, absorb out the everything babes, around I mean, them. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun that's, though. <laughs> that's amazing. All right, Doug, thank you okay, so thanks. much. We're going to wrap things up here on CT Pulse. If you missed any of our interview with Mike Maylock, it'll be on demand in just a little bit. So be sure to check it out. Some great restaurant recommendations there. We're also going to be on a two week hiatus as we embark on our spring FCAC tour. But CT Pulse will be back before you know it. Coming up today, two o'clock nutmeg sports check it out then we'll see you next time